suppose so. There always seems to be a demand for it. Was you honest on the real stage? That is where I first met him, Pootsie. He was throwing knives at a woman at the Majestic Theater. Oh, is Mr. Hauser in his office? No. Here, one hard-earned dollar, and I hope the ham made as salty as it was in the last week's picnic. How's dry that for a week after that? Thanks. What are you doing? Leaving him a note, huh? Carrying off Sorokin? Oh, Vernon. I'm not blind. I saw you leave that note. And that's why you wore that sexy dress to work today. You made me scream, Bernie. You just made me scream. Oh, all right. What's in it? I dare you to tell me what's in it. Read it. Then go cut your throat. Payroll, $5,700.22. That means I love you in Morse code. <laughs> Ain't you ashamed of yourself, Heinze? Now that we've got that all settled, you think you would trust me as far as the ladies' room? I've learned my lesson, Maple. I'll never be jealous again. Maybe I'll give you cause someday. Oh, Heinze, Heinze. I've learned my lesson, people. I'll never be jealous again. Well, you stick to it now. Absolutely. That's easier said than done. I can do it. I knew it. But let's take an example just for fun. <clears throat> Picture this, you're sitting and waiting for her to come back from the dead. There I am, I'm sitting and waiting for her to come back from the dead. Here she comes, her blouse is unbuttoned, her stockings are not very straight. Here she comes, her blouse is unbuttoned, her stockings are not very straight. Later on, she gets a bouquet with a card and it's saying to bathe you were great. Well, Heinze, what would you do then? I would trust her, I would trust her, by George, I swear I would trust her, no, I'll never be jealous again. Nice work, Heinze. Now let's take another example. No problem, it was easy. Picture this, you've nothing to do, so you drop by the chat for a while. There I am. Nothing to do, so I drop in the chat for a so while. Something's up. The window is open and Gladys is forcing a smile. Something's up. The window is open and Gladys is forcing a smile. Then you see a shirt and a tie and a pair of pants and a nice neat flip. Ah. Well, Heinze? I would trust her. I would trust her. Why, George, I swear I would trust her. No, I'll never be jealous. I'll never, 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 never be jealous again. That's the stuff, Heinze, you're practically cured. There will be no more nightmares to sleep through. No more keyholes to peek through. No more bushes to creep through. That's my My sweetie's apartment, I borrow the key. There she is. She's giving a sailor a very affectionate squeeze. There she is. She's giving a sailor a very affectionate squeeze. Then to boot, she tells you she was in the arms of her cousin who's back from overseas. Arms of her cousin back from overseas. Did you expect me to believe that? I would trust her. I would trust her. Why, George, I swear I would trust her. No, I'll never be jealous. I'll never, 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 never,